So we're about to go in to um, Sloane's dining room, known as the eating room. Um, it's in part of what we call the dance wing. It was the bit of the house that Sloane kept from what was on the site before he bought Pitsanger Manor. It's an old Georgian house that he kept this wing on it because he had worked on it as an apprentice in his youth. And he then adapted the inside and then knocked down the rest of the building and built Pitsanger Manor, his version adjacent to it. We're here in Soane's dining room, what he called the eating room, rather imaginatively. Um, Pitsang was a huge place of entertainment for Soane. He had countless large dinner parties for the great and the good of his time. J.M.W. Turner, the artist, was a great friend and would have eaten here very often. It's got a gorgeous Regency ceiling. You can see it now in its unrestored state. And if you look very, very carefully up at the ceiling, you will see lots of little stickers on the ceiling. Now, those, each of those stickers represents a place where the paint analysts have taken a sample, a scalpel sample of the paint, so that they can look in real detail under the microscope to try to work out exactly what colour the, the ceiling was in Soane's time. So I'd like to show you here a really beautiful example of the paint analysis that has been conducted here at Pitsanger. Whereas before we've seen this, the tiny little stickers where tiny, tiny samples of the paint have been taken off the ceiling, here the paint analysts have taken a single scrape back through the paint, through the layers of paint to the original primer put on the wall. And so you see, see that it is beautifully executed. One simple scrape goes back in time through all the different layers of paint, right back to the sewn scheme, beyond that to the original dance scheme, and then right beyond that to the original red primer underneath. And it's, it's just so lovely to see that, that history summed up in one simple scrape 